Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, do you want to call it? You want to flag the, the producers and the uh, Austin Archer? Sure. Yeah. If you guys want to come up here, you can. Take David a bow with them. And <laughs> Sophie and, and Austin, if you want to. Yeah, Austin, come on. Yeah. Dan, Dan Trudeau. <laughs> Think of some questions. I'm gonna say, hey, nice. Um, all right. So, I mean, how do you even pitch this film? Like, what, what is the? Like, I want to do a children's film, but their life is gonna be in danger frequently. Uh, I'm gonna get the Campbell Holocaust soundtrack at the end of the film. Like, where, where does it? Where, where did this project even begin? You pitch it. I guess it's like. If we make the movie, we gotta buy some motorcycles, we gotta buy some paintball guns. We get the a shopping truck. list is the pitch. Yeah, at least, yeah, I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> what was the ambition? Like, this feels, this movie feels so indebted to so many uh, different fantasy films and, and cult films and children's films. But what, was, what were some of the inspirations? Uh, yeah, so um, a, a lot of the inspirations were like, uh, uh, really old like kid movies and shows, like the original Little Rascals show, Our Gang from the 20s, um, like uh, Charlie Chaplin, The Kid, you know, like the sort of like, um, you know, Americana, like like um, lower class impoverished kids, mischievous kids, like beating up lame adults who deserve it. Um, uh, that plus like old older live action Disney movies, like Old Yeller or like, um, the Apple Dumpling, Dumpling Game, game. Yeah. yeah, like Forgotten, Disney, and uh, The Biscuit Eater, if you know that one. <laughs> um, yeah, like that. Uh, so those like meets sort of like a f Miyazaki and um, kind of like a fairy tale vibe. Yeah, I call it neo fairy tale, kind of like in the vein of like neo westerns or uh, neo arts. And how did you find your three immortal reptiles? <laughs> yeah, well, at the end it's four. Oh uh, yes, you yes. could say. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I had a great casting director um, in Utah. Uh, the kid, the two boys were from Utah. The girls were from LA. Um, really hard to cast kids, obviously. Um, they were the only kids uh, of the of, of all the tapes that I watched. They were the only kids that were like uh, that that got callbacks. And like of all the kids, Jody was the only only kid who made me laugh <laughs> in his tape. So I was like, that's the kid. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you know then, even looking at the tape, like? We may have to subtitle this child. No, that, that was an accident. So I, I like his tape was fine. We did a callback, fine. And then first day of shooting, he's like, hey, "Here's what we're gonna do today." <laughs> I was like panicking. I was like, I, I thought I fucked up. I was like, "Oh no! Like, what do we do? We can't recast. Like, it's just because there's like, we gotta go." I don't know, I was like, we gotta shoot, we gotta just shoot. So we shot, and then that night I had the idea, I was like, wait, but if we subtitle him, then then it would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you were correct. Now, speaking of subtitles, uh, you also subtitled the magic in the film, the uh, Okiblikos and... Uh, Okiblikos. And so what, where, where did you come from? Uh, it's like part Greek and part uh, fictional language, but yeah, they're the command words. Um, it's always something wolf. She calls, and if I refers to her uh, it, it, family as wolf. It kind of feels like there's this lore that exists outside of the frame. Like how much uh, writing is not even in the movie, just in terms of like the, the lore of the Emerald uh, Blade Gang. Yeah, uh, Chain of Blade Gang, a lot, a lot. There's like yeah, major backstories to uh, all the characters that I wrote and I said to the uh, actors. I wish that I had sort of like alluded to it a little bit. I mean, yeah, like Anna Freya and John Red Rye have like this crazy history. They were like um, boyfriend and girlfriend for a long time, but they're, they're actually like broke, they're technically broken up in the film, but he's sort of hanging on because he thinks they could get back together, but he's actually just realizing that, no, it's screwed. Like, I, should, I gotta get out of this. Is there gonna be a paperback with all this stuff? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, Yellow Bill might, uh, it might uh, if it fund it, yeah. <laughs> Um, I'll throw the audience in a second, but can we talk a little bit about the music? There's a whole list of composers oh, that we yeah. have. Yeah. Uh, right there in the credits. Yeah, so, so it's, it's a, most of it's called, uh, it's a, it's a um, genre called dungeon synth that's like um, kind of newer. Uh, it's like heavy, heavy on band camp. There's tons of artists that basically make music that sounds like it's for like fictional um, fantasy movies or fantasy 
RPGs, um, and it was like very fitting. But I didn't really like f discover it until like I was, I think I was like it just I was in production or something, uh, or maybe post. But yeah. And uh, the dance sequence. Can you talk about what like ha what was the day like shooting that dance sequence? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, yeah, because like I I originally the choreographer for hired. <laughs> no, it was just me. But I I think I had filmed a video of myself doing some moves and I showed it to them. But there wasn't time to really like do it. And then we kind of we just did like four takes, two two wide. You know you had that close. song at, at that moment? No, it was a different song. And I was edit when I was editing it, I was cutting it and I got sick of the song. So then I was just like listening to other music, like Spotify radio. And Baby Come, Baby Came, Baby Come Back came on. I had never heard it before. <laughs> and I was editing and I was like, this is fucking sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been, yeah. Getting on stage and he'd be like, do this now. Like he'd jump up and like do a dance move, and then the kids would like do what he did. He'd be like, yeah, 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 do that, do that, yeah. Yeah, and then all the adults' reactions were just watching me. I was like, and then, literally just him just going. And then like one of them's over here, and he's like, I was like, you're pissed, you're angry. You're like, oh, it's, maybe it's good, yeah. And, and on, all, on the subject of that scene, what's with the mer boy? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what you call it? Yeah, at least like with the little trident is sitting there. Yeah, yeah, so he, like, what, yeah, I, there's something that just seems very sinister is going on. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, so yeah. that place, it's in Salt Lake City, and he literally just lived there. Wait, what? Yeah, it's, it's an artist, it was an artist residency warehouse, and his dad and him lived there. He was like, I don't know, like, Wait, already kid? painted like that? No. no. <laughs> I was like, what is this kid gonna wear? And then I was like, yeah, I was like, what is this real? I was like, can you be in it? He's like, yeah, I want to be in it. I was like, okay. And I'm like, what does he wear? I was like, wait, wait if he's like a statue and like, in gray. And we had this like trident. And then I just, I, he's sort of like the jester, but he's sort of like a like a Star Wars cantina character where it's just like, you see him and you're like, what the, what is that guy's story? I have no idea, but I'm, but I'm like planning. I just want you to make your own story. I, don't know. I feel like there's so many moments in that film, but yeah, you're just, you know, wondering what the backstory is. Questions yeah. from the audience, right in the front, and then we'll move our way back. Yeah, can you speak to the challenges to work with ch ch child actors, but also the ways in which it's incredibly fun? And yeah, um, this type of film lends itself to uh, having a, a, like a fun time with kid actors because it's so fun and uh, action based and like energetic. So you know, it's it's sort of easier. It's not a heavy compared to like a heavy drama, which would be much more difficult. Um, th and this, I love that working with kids uh, actors because they they don't really like they just like they get it. They they're, they they live the characters and they want to do it right. And no offense to like the dull actors, but they just like don't. Kids don't have egos, so you can be like faster, faster, angrier, angrier, like meaner, 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 and they're like yeah. yeah and they do it, and so you don't have to like, construct this like elaborate note to like deliver to an adult actor, you know. Not that I had to do, not that I had to do that. Not that I, not that I, I, I also that noticed that you left in, uh, you, you leave in a couple of their gaffes occasionally, or like they're not, they're not like, they're, in, they're not flawless performances, but they, it, it's very authentic as a result of that. Was that another thing just, Discovering that and going along with listen, we're shooting on film. That we're, we're keeping that tape. Uh, it was uh, well, we, it was twenty to shoot, yeah. and it's like SAG and the SAG rules are you get like eight hour, eight hours, seven hours with the kids, door to door, hotel to hotel. So it's like really like six hours at most. So it's like we just we are flying, and it's like we're averaging on two to three takes, and it's like. I'm kind of just editing, you know, in my mind. I'm like, okay, we got like this part on the wide, and we need this line on like single, and that. so I'm kind of just. You know, I'm, I'm editing as we go. And it was, yeah, it's really fast. I mean, it's too fast. But it's sort of like, yeah, it's part of the charm of the movie. Like, it's really handmade and it's, you know, it's kind of funny. Right there? Uh, along that line, what was, like, the most interesting or memorable uh, thing that the kids brought that you didn't have time to bring? What did the, what did the children bring to the, to the film that you weren't expecting? Yeah, I, I really wanted them to like bring more of their own lines and everything. Um, most of them just kind of like want to do it, you know, on book and stuff. But Jody, he was like, he would like tell her, it was his Jody. mom would come up to me and he's like, she was like, Jody wants to say about the crab legs. He really wants to say, 
I'm not living without these babies. <laughs> Let's do it. And then his, he also, at the end, his line, he made up um, the line, when they're in the cop car, he, he, made, he, he made up the line, uh, we should have gone to Nacho Mamas. <laughs> <laughs> career right ahead of him. Uh, over there? Yeah, I was wondering about your, uh, like when the kids are using the viewfinder, like where does that inspiration come from? Like, the the question was about the when they use the viewfinders or their cell phones, and there's these. And each one is kind of like their own little app. Yeah, it's an app. So yeah, like I wanted to. The movie is obviously set technically now, you know, and I kind of wanted to make like an, a classic adventure movie, I keep like that dream alive now. And they have smartphones, but they they only use their smartphones as like futuristic, like Star Wars utility belt devices, I guess. And like the, to me, that's the cool part of like iPhones. Like you can you you can have these apps, or you can literally like. YouTube, like how to hotwire a car, yeah. which he does. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's like you know, it's kind of a classic spy tool that you know is, is from uh, it's James Bond or Star Wars or anything, and like it's such a cool thing to have something like that as a kid, you know. So the very back. Yeah, could you speak to about the animals and and like the uh, like like the way the, that elk that was. The Prince of the yeah. Forest. The Prince of the, the Mountain. Mountain. The Prince of the Mountain. Which is a reference to Bambi. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah that was an elk head that we bought, and I like I puppeteered it to, like on the shot where it walks in. I was like holding it. <laughs> it's just like on a stand there. I mean, I kind of like moved it, and we had this like it was like we called it elk breath. It was like steam. It was a can of like mist. That in some cases we like missed it, tried to mist it out of its nose, but it ended up looking like a like an animatronic from like um, the Treasure Island ride, or like Disney, you know, Splash Mountain. There, there's a hand waving right there, and then we'll go up there. Yes. I love the whole time video, like the whole thing, and like how you Is there a specific video game or quest, uh, the specifically video game quest or level that inspired the structure of the film? Yeah, I, I, I love the idea of kind of the main quest and side quest and side quest and you gotta like kind of, to get this, you gotta get this, to get this, to get this, and you know, which is like the password uh, and then the pie and then like, you know, gotta get the thing to, to bake the, the woman, the baker cold, you know, send, send the chill down the spine. Um, Zelda, I think, um, specifically though, like uh, the Game Boy Color, uh, uh, Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages, <laughs> those two games, they're like, really charming, um, especially like the trading quests to get um, Master Sword, I guess, one that shoots lasers. Like the trading quest, like the, the, the ghastly doll, like that is like very like Zelda trading quest to me. <laughs> um, yeah, and then it's like, yeah, they do a dance. It's like, you know, Zelda, like you've got like, there's like a thing where you have to dance for, um, I don't know who, to like get something. Yeah, I'd say that. Yeah. I'm gonna go up there, and also, Weston, you, you promised people uh, I did. something special. I do, I have so a you're, treat. You're, you're, you're thinking of questions, which ones you like, but yes, yes. right up there. So, what was the TV password? What was the TV password? <laughs> okay, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right over there. I wanted to ask about the name Otomo um, specifically. Is that a reference to Katsuhiro Otomo? The reference, oh. the Otomo reference. Yes, yeah, um, yeah. Otomo, Katsuhiro, Akira. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> right there. Uh, what film stock did you shoot on? What film stock did you shoot on? The technical question. 16 millimeter, uh, 500T and 50D. Right in the front there. Yeah, speak about where you shot the film at. Has. So we shot uh, where I grew up, uh, sort of outside Park City, Utah. Um, a lot of locations were like childhood uh, mountains and things. We shot a lot in the Uinta Mountains, um, the Wasatch National Forest, which I grew up exploring, and it's it's always been really magical to me. That house, though, the Adele House, was uh, I, growing up like I, you you you. There's like this really high road where you look out and you see it on that like the kind of last shot of it that or the the super wide shot. And, um, so I grew up like seeing this house super far away, kind of daydreaming about it, like who lives there. And when I was scouting by myself, I sort of I was driving by, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna drive out to that house and just see. And it was like, uh, I had to like trespass kind of. Um, and I went there and like, they weren't home and I had to get to these neighbors and then I, they, they, I met them and they were like, eh, I, I came back. 
And this lady, I was like kind of walking, and this lady saw me again. She was like, you, you're back? And I was like, oh, sorry, I was just seeing if they were here. And she was like, you're not allowed to be here. And she was like, 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 6, 4, 1, 1. Are you going to explode? Like, what are you doing? And she was like, no, when I hit the zero, I'm calling the police. And I was like, oh, shit. And then I like got down on my hands and knees, and I was begging her. She's like, get the hell out of here. And so I got out of there. We contacted like a real estate company. They got us like the contact for the number, and we called them. Luckily, they were like, they want to read the script, call them made it happen and like it was the best. I love that house. And the, the interior of that house is the real interior. Um, yeah, it's like the cool socks. Uh, right over there? Okay. <laughs> the one that you had your hand at the whole time. Yeah, Perfect. Uh, what is the key to a great pie? The filling of the crust? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, what? I think you said, what is the key to a great pie? Oh, what is the key to a great pie? Well, also, like, what, what is that is pie? Is that a speckled egg? It's speckled oh, egg. Oh, pie is good pie. Uh, here for the whole pumpkin yeah. pie. But, uh, where did the pirates speak of? Oh, um, my mom. <laughs> she made the pies. Yeah. <laughs> right in the middle there. Hi there. Uh, so I love the look and feel of the uh, 16 millimeter film. I was just wondering if you could speak to the uh, experience of like filmmaking on like uh, that format. You know, different things between. Speaking that. to the experience of shooting on film. Yeah, um, I I recommend just practicing a lot with making short films or just i getting renting a 60 millimeter camera, buying a roll or two, and kind of just shooting and whatever, and then uh, just kind of like. Experimenting, um, yeah. It's also really helpful if you work with um, a DP and a camera team that are extremely experienced with it, um, which mine was. I, I had shot before, but I, I yeah, my camera I had a great camera team, and we had like ten um, uh, what are they, hoppers, and we'd like load them. We had them all preloaded, and they were like they were great. So yeah, work with people who shoot film. I'd recommend. So we have time for just two more questions, Wes. I'll let you choose them, so okay. we can maybe figure out this prize. Up on the balcony, <laughs> this dude. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just an amazing song, I'm just going to say, like, the rules. <laughs> yeah, it's such a, like, ending song yeah. that it just, to me, it's always sounded like everything is coming together completely and wholesomely. And it's nice to hear it at the end of a movie where, like, it's, you know, you've just been traumatized to watch that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Well, it's, it was always, like, confusing. It was always such a contrast to how it's used originally, so... And yeah, it's kind of funny. If you know what it is, it's like, whoa, how's this in this movie? But it's like, it works, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you guys. So, do you kind of storyboard when you come up with like a thematic movie or like a film that you like imagine? Was the film storyboarded? So, I, I love to storyboard, and I would have storyboarded the whole thing, but it's just. During pre-production, it kind of just gets kicked to the bottom of the list because there's so much to do. I, I made a shot list, though. It was a very specific shot list, so I have that. But I do love to storyboard, and normally I do storyboard. Yeah. So, Wes, we, we don't really have much more time. Okay, so it's gonna work. let's, whoever can, so someone will get this prize. It is a, um, it's a, uh, it's a piece of 35 35 millimeter print. Um, it's the opening shot of the film. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So whoever can take out your phone and vote for the audience award <laughs> as soon as possible. Ready, go. Gonna remind him. How are you doing? Someone I don't know. Whoever calls it. Scott. Yeah, but you're all the way up there. Right. It's not working. Yeah. I think these guys want it. But yeah. what's your question? Do you have a question? Yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, done, yeah, done, yeah, done, yeah, done. Yeah, he did it, he did it. Yeah, I think that, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, congratulations, Ruby. Uh, I have to join the screen one more time in the present tomorrow, and as a special treat, because Wes is not going to be here, it's showing on 35 millimeter tomorrow. Yeah. It is showing on 35 tomorrow, <laughs> if you want to see it again, you can. Yeah. Also, um, if, you if you like the movie, please, um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Cool. Uh, also, if you like the movie, please rate it on Letterboxd and please write a little, a little review if you want.
Dog 2. Um, we really, really appreciate it. Um, also, a rate it on IMDb if you want to as well. That would be really cool. Uh, we have one more prize, which is one of the original. It's a toadstool. It's a pin. And it's a toadstool on fire. It was one of the original 100 we made for Any questions up front? And uh, I don't know. Who wants it? And Me! Yeah. I would like it! I will have that pen and I will take it. I don't know. Shit. <laughs> Everyone, thank you so much for spending your life for knowledge.